Okay, today we are going to unbox the Odyssey Titan quadcopter. This is nice because it includes the 4 gig micro SD card. It also uses an FTV monitor. Well, it's included versus having to use a mobile phone, mobile device, and it also flies at 5.8 gigahertz, which is uh, better. Let get you a little bit further out. I'm a little more reliable. Um, here's the monitor. Looks like a 4.3 inch screen. RC controller, instructions, done over there. Got accessories. Let's see what's in here. Screwdriver, looks like to put the prop cards on. Extra props. Pretty sturdy props. We have the USB connectors to charge the FPV monitor. Looks like I'm here. And this looks like it will charge the battery. Oops. We have these sticks, control sticks. Pop these guys in to the controller. Looks like it takes four AA batteries. I'll unscrew that and install batteries for the controller there. Here are the prop cards. Four of those. This Looks like the camera. Oh, yeah. And it includes, so oh, there's the micro SD card, 4 gig. If you can see that, it goes in here. And there's also a slot in the monitor. When you fly and record, it needs to be in the camera. And then to watch it, um, I believe you have to take it out of this and install it in the SD slot here to watch it. So let's go ahead and pull out the quad or the Titan. This away. Um, first things first, let's go ahead and charge the battery. is a oops 3.7 volt 700 milliamp hour battery there's the connector I'll charge that plug that guy in there just use the USB port on the surface and let's go ahead and install the camera. It's the front, obviously. It looks like it just slides right into these slots right here. And over that little lip on the back side, if you can see that. There's a connector, it goes right on in there. There, it snaps right in. It's the antenna. Okay. 
these extra pop cards we won't need. Our props. Not right now, anyway. And then these will go on each corner. And it looks like it has two little pegs there that go. There's two pegs on each side. And then it looks like one screw right in the middle. So we'll go ahead and pop those guys in. Okay, one thing I am noticing is that these are hitting, some of these are hitting the pop guards. Just make sure that these are seated in properly. And they look very pliable. I don't know if, if they come this stiff from the factory, but looks like, yep. You can just bend these back a little bit, bend them down. They're not going to snap. Oh, this one's like. Let's redo this one. Bring this back. There you go. Just check to make sure they they spin freely without hitting. This one hits. See. So I'll just bend this back a little bit. There you go. There you go. So essentially when you're when you're flying and it hits a wall, it's not gonna hit the props, it's gonna hit this and just bounce off. You're flying indoors mostly. Looks like I have to reseat this one. So I'll do that and I will be back. Okay, back, got some batteries. I'll go ahead and install those, take the screwdriver. safety thing. I guess you could leave that screw out if you needed to, if you wanted to, because it does clip in once you put it back in. So it is four AA batteries. I'm going to put it back in. Good. Let's see if there's any power from the factory. Oh, there is. Nice. So it has view, record, snap, which I'm guessing is take a picture, down and up. I guess that's for a menu. Or to scroll through your pictures or videos. But we will charge this anyway, even though there's power. It looks like there's a red light LED on the charger to tell you that it's charging and I'm guessing it will turn off once it is complete. So we'll do that. I'm also reseated the prop prop card that I had going on. So these are all spinning. Oop, this one's still. I mean I guess you could not install these. 
you don't need them. But I would recommend having these. Especially for indoor flight. So, and then also adjust your camera before you start flying it. I'll have this pointed a little down. I don't know if you can see that. I'll point mine a little bit down. Slightly, not a lot, but enough if you're in the air, it's gonna be pointing down. Just a little bit. I'm oh, sorry, I was off camera there. All right, so we're just gonna wait for everything to charge up and then we will go ahead and get this thing together and fly it.